Everybody knows the world ain't right. Down on your knees, get up and fight. Get a rock out here. Now that the dust has settled from the closed alpha playtest for the finals, we await news from Embark Studios, perhaps giving us some insight into how they think the playtest went from their end. We're also waiting to hear when the next playtest might be. And while we wait, Embark's co-founder and chief content officer, Rob Brunison, has presented us with what is now level two of an ongoing series of Easter eggs, which are hidden in a bunch of new concept art images that have been posted on the Easter egg channel of the finals Discord. Level 2 of the Easter egg hunt got underway in the week after the closed alpha finish with Rob posting half a QR code into the Discord. He then posted the words, here we go, which is the phrase the finals game announcer shouts when each round commences. It was noticed by Discord member Swa that the O in the 18th position was actually a zero by adding the word go with 17 O's in it as a URL extension for the finals website it led to the bottom left portion of the QR code and with three quarters of the QR code the Easter egg hunters in the Discord were able to use a dynamic QR code website to effectively guess the web address that the QR code led to which was this one which has a password link for each tier of the level 2 Easter eggs of which there are nine in total. So you can see that these are going to be pretty elaborate and ongoing Easter eggs that Embark are presenting us with as part of what appears to be their lead up to the game launching or at least going into early access. I'm guessing once that happens, we'll actually have far more Easter eggs in the game itself. Anyhow, a couple of days later, Dusty from the Embark team dropped into the Discord this really cool concept art image of a character engulfed in flames and carrying what appears to be a jerry can as they take aim with their pistol. While Fire has played a relatively small role in the closed alpha version of the finals with incendiary grenades, a flamethrower and explosive barrels, this image actually suggests incendiaries might be taken to a higher level in the game down the track. We also see cars in the image which we didn't see in the closed alpha build and have only seen from the very first teaser of the game with this Corvette racing through the Monaco streets. When she posted the image, Dusty also added the Latin phrase "areri ex cineri to the post which translates to rise from the ashes. Then a few minutes after the image was posted, Dusty posted what looked like exactly the same image again with the same phrase. However, Discord member Bunu used the difference filter in Photoshop to compare the two images, which remarkably revealed this image of a winged creature. It turns out to be a medieval bronze statue of a griffin, which is a mythological creature, and the statue is located in a museum associated with the cathedral in the city of Pisa, Italy right in the same part of Pisa as the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. From my previous video about this Easter egg series, you might recall that Pisa was part of level one of the series and was used to bring our attention to the historical astronomer Galileo Galilei. So this got us on the hunt for things relating to Pisa, Griffins, and maybe astronomy relating to Galileo. None of the passwords we tried, which were based on Pisa and Galileo, worked, and the next day Dusty posted this image of the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, sometimes called St. Nicholas Cathedral, which featured as a centre point in the Monaco map for the finals closed alpha. In the image, the cathedral is being bombarded by meteorites and this actually occurs in the game as a special event, which adds to the widespread destruction that already occurs. Amongst the action in the image, Discord members notice what looks like a Minecraft zombie on this palm tree, we're still not quite sure why that's there, a trident symbol where a finals logo should actually appear on the surround of the map arena, and also Greek letters lying about on the ground which form the name Athusa. In Greek mythology, Athusa was a daughter of Poseidon and Alcyone, and also a lover of Apollo. Now we weren't able to work out the correct password from this despite many attempts until Rob Brunison posted this image of one of the game's mascots, Namatama, into the Discord dressed as Galileo holding a telescope that even has a meteor reflected in its primary lens. This sent us back in the astronomical direction and then Discord member Serpinger picked up that there is an asteroid named 1064 Athusa and he simply entered 1064 as the password successfully completing tier 1A of level 2 of the easter eggs. That rewarded us with this image of an M60 LMG, an AK rifle and a MAC-10 machine pistol 
which seem to be adorned with Western-style skins relating to the Ospu's in-game sponsor. But that isn't all. Within the image, a few things have been found. Firstly, in this part of the image is what's known as a pig pen cipher, which is a geometric simple substitution cipher, and we translated that to the letters F. Kramer. We also discovered a little drawing under the Ospu's logo, which is some sort of carton and an addition symbol and an egg, and then some writing on the side of the M60, which looks like it's the end of a word which says Massar X. Anyhow, after a few Google searches, we discovered that Frank Kramer was an Italian movie director whose real name was Gianfranco Parolini. Gianfranco directed a bunch of films in the 1960s and 70s known as Spaghetti Westerns because the movies were largely made by Italian film crews. We then worked out that the symbol next to the egg is a bag of flour with eggs and flour making pasta. It also turns out that he made a series of Bond-like movies known as Commissar X. So we then had the rest of the partly hidden word on the M60 as well. It was also discovered that primer marks on some of the M60 rounds, which of course shouldn't be there as the rounds haven't been fired, mark out the numbers 1, 9, 6 and 2, which we've presumed represents the year 1962. We've also worked out that in that year, all of the films made by Gianfranco starred actor Brad Harris, who was born in St. Anthony, Idaho, and that potentially leads us to the place of death of St. Anthony, which is Padua, Italy which also happens to be where Galileo Galilei was appointed Professor of Mathematics in 1592. And that's about as far as we've got with the clues on the current level. We've tried loads of different passwords relating to what we've found without anything bearing fruit. See you soon, I -idi idiots. Hmm? It's for you. <laughs> So if you consider yourself a bit of an easter egg detective, come and join us in the finals discord, the link is in the video description below. Help us work out the answers so that we can uncover what will hopefully be a lot more concept art for the game. Despite us still working through the current clues, what is really cool is that it's now very clear that the Embark Art team are probably going to continue providing the finals discord community with previously unseen concept art for the game as we solve the easter egg clues. I think this is a really great way for them to engage with the community between playtests when there isn't much else for us to do and I'm hoping that once the game launches we'll be able to solve a whole lot of in-game easter eggs as well and maybe have some kind of in-game rewards to show for it. Someone in the discord has already suggested a Galileo telescope as a rifle scope which I think is a pretty cool idea. Anyway the great thing is that the Embark team already seem very keen to have ongoing interactions with the community even during these quiet spells which is definitely not something seen from most game studios and makes me look forward to what's to come from embark. Lastly I'm hoping that we do get some sort of formal update from the developers soon, maybe to let us know about how the closed alpha went from their point of view and to give us some sort of indication as to what's next on the roadmap for development of the game. It wouldn't surprise me if the launch of the game is actually going to be sometime in 2023 and not around the end of the year as was previously mentioned, like maybe March or April next year or something like that. While the closed alpha was really solid with a lot of features like widespread destruction in the game, my guess is that it's going to take them a bit longer than just a couple of months to get everything up to speed for another playtest and then on to launch of the game. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts about the easter eggs, the images that we've seen and what we might expect from the studio next in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want all the latest updates about the finals and Embark's other games. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, kia kaha, stay strong. <laughs>